Rachel, what's troubling you? I don't know, maybe the... The fact everything and everyone in here is trying to kill me. Go on, tell me your desire. I want to die. Look, I told you so. Uh, Rachel, let me put you out of your misery. So, will you say yes? I'm getting impatient. Could, could it be his doing? Tell me, why are you with Zack? I promised to let him kill me. What? That's so messed up. I even offered to kill you myself too. But if I let you, then he won't be able to get out of here. Is that all? That shouldn't be a problem at all. Hey, can you hear me? Are you there? Ugh, oh, looks like Mouth Mouse here. Choose who will be your killer, him or me. My sweet Rachel, let me lovingly put you to rest. How about no? Sophisticated, more like medicated. <laughs> Gonna kill with a boring look on her face? What a fucking idiot. Oh, will you shut up? Rich and I are talking. Hey, can you hear me? I'm not talking to the grave digging dipshit. I'm talking to you. Me? Yes, you. Listen up. Don't think for one second that you can die of your own will. <laughs> Aww. There's plenty of people in this building who'd love to kill you. But I'll have the honor. Swear to God. To God? Uh huh. So make sure nobody else gets you first. To you. Okay. Rachel? Hit that wall as hard as you can. Right. Chill. What the fucking punk go? Why, Rachel? Is it so wrong for me wanting to kill you? Of course it's wrong, you fucking moron. My, you're so vicious. Vicious, vicious. Rachel, do you want him to kill you? You definitely bungle up. S bundle it up. Why not let me instead? I'll do a pristine job. Shut the fuck up. Show yourself so I can tear you apart. Rachel, you are mine to kill. Okay, whoa, can you wait for me till then? Well, it's... <laughs> Damn, that bass have bolted on me. You're just as much of a spinless wimp yourself. You'll be dead before I even have a chance to kill you. Yeah. Huh? Like I said before, if you're gonna die, then at least make yourself useful first. If I do, then you'll kill me, right? That's what I've been saying. What you said earlier. God. You said God. Yeah, to God. You said that you swear to God. Is what you said true? You swear to God for me? You swear to God you'll kill me? For God's sake, yes. Now quit pestering me. I hate liars. <laughs> I see. Gotcha. I'll do everything I can to make myself useful to you. Then we're good. Good! 
So, what's the plan now? I heard the sound of a door open earlier. I think it might be the door below here. And the kid's waiting, or so he said. Sweet! We're back with Isaac! The power room. Funny enough, it still smells like dirt here. What in the hell? More graves? Hey, don't get any ideas about going into any more holes. I said I wouldn't kill myself. Haha, <laughs> I suppose you did. Anyway, I've got no intention of sticking around this dirt dump. Let's get the hell out of here. Ah, oh, wait. Wait for me. Hey, what's your name again? Rachel Gardner. Oh. I'm taking you along for my own person again. But man, it's a pain in the ass having you around. Right, Ray? Hello, we meet again. Out of my way, fucking Brad. What makes you think I gotta do what you, wa what you say? Hey, Rachel, are you sure you don't want me to do it? Do you even know anything about who this guy is? He has no passion for grace and a slow, slovenly past. I read about his past in a document earlier. Then what's the problem? Why well, choose him over me? I can kill you too, you know. He swore to God that he'd kill me. And that alone is everything to me. Who is this high and mighty God? That's crazy, this so-called god of yours never told me any of this. No such freedom exists in this place. The only freedom we are given is for our actions and our own flaws. And the right to kill. Ah, uh, so you are not the one who will kill me. You hear that? How you like that, fucking Brad? <laughs> oh, how dreadful. I just want to bury you, preserving your beauty. Don't you know? Grays are dark, cool, and comfy. At the very least, let me take you there. No, you worthless hellion! Shut up, it's not like you're any different from me. Just another murderer. Speak for yourself. For all your physical strength, you still haven't been able to catch anyone with that empty head of yours. Unable to kill anyone, you're just a useless, angry mess. That's rich coming from you. You're the one who's desperate. Just a frustrated little dipshit who couldn't kill a fly is all you are. Give me a fucking break. Shut the trap, you idiot. As far as I'm concerned, you don't exist. I'm after Rachel, not you. Okay. Rachel, I'll see you eternally in a lovely casket of stone. Damn it, not again. God damn it. Where the hell are you? You're like a turd that won't flush. <laughs> I must kill Rachel. Watch out, this game is not continuous. Go on ahead without me. No! You said something about a power room, right? It should be somewhere around here. Go turn on the power. Okay. Wait, Rachel. No, I won't wait. I will go. The batteries are almost dead. I gotta hurry. Oh my god. What is going on? The what? Why are the spots on my screen? Where are you, Rachel? God damn it, no! Ah, oh, don't do that. Oh, fuck. <laughs> He's gonna find me. Here, here, I got it. Here's the power, yes! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> we did it. Oh, there you are. You weren't even close. Why, Rachel? Why? I even made a grave for you and everything. Can't you take a hint? She stumped your ass. Damn. Ray doesn't want your pity grave. Prepetty. Get away, traitor. Grave desecrator. Fiend. 
Rachel, lose this fiendish ruffin and hop into my grave. What do you say? Hey, if you're so obsessed with Grace, then how about I bury you first? Showdown! I got the perfect one picked out for you. Oh, I almost forgot. I sit it up tight, just like you said. <laughs> and that's that. Oh, Zack, my hero! Let me give you a loving kiss. Hey, not bad for a punk kid. Dipshit six feet under, just like he wanted. Think smart as grave digging bastard. <laughs> That's how I swear. <laughs> this could be me. Something's on the back of this grave. Is it now? A switch that says elevator gate. Yay! It's probably the elevator switch. Oh, push it. Okay. That's kind of how I swear on a daily basis. Now we should be able to go up. Nice. Sweet. So nothing else to mention? The grave has crumbled and is now filled. What you doing? Get your ass on the elevator. Oh, it's not down there? It's up here? Oh, uh, I'm sorry. I didn't see that. Nice. At least I can say goodbye to this dirt wrecking dump. This is before it, so there's probably still more floors above. Uh, when will it end? Um, did I make myself useful to you, sir? Uh, can you quit calling me, sir? Makes me edgy. How about Isaac? Zack. Call me Zack. Okay. Was I have any use to you, Zack? Just a tiny bit. Oh. Let's get going. Okay. Yay! On to the next one. So, did I beat stage one? I mean, phase one, I mean, uh, episode one? I guess I did. Didn't I? Maybe. Yay! So, that's the first. Oh yes, those were the people that worked on that. So I hope you got that. <laughs> okay, that's not so bad because there are two more, three more. Um Uh one second, let me get that going. So uh this was episode one, now we go on to episode two, episode three, and episode four. So, let's head right into it. New game! I know the controls, I did that perfectly fine, I didn't die at all. Episode 2. It's 
bride. This is where we get off, apparently. We know who we are. <laughs> B3. What a stingy elevator. Just take us all the way up instead of dropping us off at each fucking floor. Here we go again. Another elevator hunt. Yeah. Hey, I'm counting on you. You're the brains of this operation. Make sure we get to the exit. Okay. I'll do everything in my power to make myself useful to you. Just like you swear to God, once we escape this place, kill me. You sound like a broken record player. Don't gotta tell me again. It's locked. It's locked, Zack. There's nothing I can do. Zack, stop that. What? I said what? I'm buttoning your lips. Even if I told you, I'm not sure you would understand. Who knows, but I won't unless you spit it out. It's not unlocked. There's nothing else in this room, so it doesn't bode well for us. If you don't have a clue, then why in the hell would I? I thought you'd say that. I'm just skilled at unlocking stuff. Good luck with that. For the time being, I'll take another look at the door. Okay. I have a feeling it won't open. What are we gonna do? Is there something in my handbag? But this is... Hey. Hey, it still won't budge. Nope. You've been eyeballing your back for a while. What's that about? I thought there'd be something to unlock it. Oh, so what's inside the back of yours anyways? Nothing. Thread, a needle, and... You don't say. Can you pick a lock with a needle? I have no idea how to pick locks. Besides, the store has no keyhole. Well, a lot of good some thread and a needle is gonna do of us then. Out of my way, I smash it open. The store is reinforced with iron bars. Can it? I won't know unless I try, damn it. Shit, it's hard as a rock. Hard as iron, to be precise. Why don't you tell me that? Now my hands are all numb. I mentioned iron bars. Huh? What the fuck? I get back. Okay. Bullets. Plan is to turn us into Swiss cheese, huh? <laughs> Sorry the welcome party took so long. I guess I sort of dozed off watching your idiot antics. Still, it's a wonder you survived. Especially you, Zack. Bravo to your resourcefulness. Truth be told, I've always had faith that you blossom such a lovely sinner, isn't you? All this talk about anticipation has my sleepy peepers wide awake now. Don't say peepers. What is? What kind of word is that? I don't give a flying fuck about your sleeping habits. Shut the hell up and let us through. Very well. You've earned it. Yep, you've earned it. What the? I am the Condemner. Oh, Goddess wretches. You shall writhe in agony until forgiven. For that is my devoir. Devoir? devoir? That love. Cool. Goddess wretches. Bullshit. Saying whatever the hell she wants, talking like God sent her himself. Send her himself and shit. What do I gotta be punished anyway? Oh, and my bullshit Amida's already pinging off scale, so lay off. Hey, Ray, the door's open. Let's get the move on. Okay. Okay. Let's do that. Door's locked. This is locked. Can I go here? 
Door is locked. Door is locked. No, great. What now? Gate is closed. It's closed. Hey, aren't you listening? Weren't you supposed to let us through? What's this? I thought you were slow-witted, but it turns out you're just impatient, huh? I haven't finished putting on my face. I just rolled out of bed, after all. Huh? Well, never mind all that. Sinners should receive the punishment in due order, don't you think? I mean, that way it sets the mood for the whole thing, don't you think? I'd better get everything set up. You two should get ready, too. To receive your punishment, that is. I left the room in question unlocked for you. Thank you, which means... Huh? What's all that supposed to mean? Shall we head to the room for the time being? Yes, we shall. A border background mugshot is what defines a criminal, right? So, take your mugshot for me. Huh? Mugshot? It's a picture of your mug, Isaac. Never had yours taken before, huh? How lovely. I'll make a half-hearted promise to post it on my fridge. Indeed, the same goes for you as well, Rachel. Show me your photogenic side. Oh, and don't forget to take it while holding a place car placard. Oops. Ugh, this is such bullshit. Let's do that! Photos of several people are scattered everywhere. The people in the photographs are each holding what appears to be a mugshot placard. Boys at each have a white string attached. Names are written on the boards. They appear to be mugshots placards. Hey, what do those say? Our names are written on them. Really? Our names? Well, it's for a shots, so I think we need to put these around our necks and take the photo. Okay, let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do that. Are we supposed to take it with us? Just push in the shadow take a photo? Fuck if I know. I've never taken a photo I had mine taken. Okay, then, should I take mine first? Huh? So, why in the fuck do I gotta get my photo taken for? So we can keep going. Not a fan of photos? Oh shit, fine. Okay then, I'll take yours once you're ready, okay? I am ready. Shall I take yours? Fine. <laughs> hey, if you're gonna do it, then make it snappy. Stay still. Huh? Like a give a shit. Just take it for crying out loud. It'll come up blurry. For fuck's sake. It's not like this is some passport photo. Fine. Hold still. Do I press this? Yeah. This sucks so hard. What do we gotta do this for? Ah, don't push the button too hard. It'll make the camera shake. I knew it, it's blurry. Good enough. Yeah, I think I heard a sound over there. Now we should be able to move on. Yay, can I see it? No, of course not. Okay, not this one. Oh, this. Oops. Oh well. Look at those awesome drawings! A series of drawings are scribbled on the wall. Blah, what a piss poor excuse of a drawing. It's like someone smeared shit on the wall. <laughs> Come on. It appears to be a picture of someone sitting in a chair. It appears to be a picture of some sort of green scribble and an agonizing face. Someone impaled on spikes. Of a syringe. A picture of a smiling woman. Welcome. Did you by chance catch the wall artwork? I've got such wonderful punishments in store for both of you. Isn't that lovely? With drawing skills like that, the only thing lovely will be when they are erased. How cruel. I put my heart and soul into them. But enough about that. More importantly, I'm giving each, for y each of you a bit of a choice. Huh? What do you mean? Didn't you know that condemnation comes in a variety of forms? How does eternal imprisonment strike you? There you can leisurely spend your days productively thinking over your sins. Such tormenting punishment awaits you above. However, B 
beyond the iron bars before you awaits a lovely new life, rotting away in eternal imprisonment. So, what do you say? Who the fuck in their right head would want to do something like that? Too bad, all I wanted was to keep you for the rest of your lives. The officer stands if you change your mind. What? You think I'm just gonna just... You think I'm just gonna just sign my life? What? I'm just gonna sign my life over like some dumbass? Eternal imprisonment. Death would not be swift, I take it. Hey, don't ever give this bitch the time of the day. Act like she doesn't exist. Let's keep going. Okay. Is this the first punishment room? Even if it is, we've got no choice but to keep going. Okay. Door's been locked. Huh? Has everyone around here got some sort of sick door locking fetish or something? Come on. <laughs> okay. There are so many chairs. What's sitting in the chairs? People? Dolls? And that chair in the center, huh? Yet another place that makes no freaking sense. Ah, uh, wait. So they're all dolls, huh? So it seems. At any rate, get thinking about how to get out of here. Or get through here. Okay. Just to be safe, you shouldn't take a look around. I should take a look around. I can't read anymore. Will do. I will wear quite a rag. Um, cool. You're not looking around, you're not helping Zack. Find anything worth mentioning? There's a door on the other side, but a wall's blocking the way. And you didn't smash it because? Huh? Listen, punk, this wall's made of iron and I can't smash it. Oh. Aren't you the one who said that iron can't be destroyed? Yep, that was me. Alright, let's go sit on a chair, I guess. There's a chair strapped with cords and a restraining device. Something smells like it's burning. What? This room looks like it might be hiding something. But everything seems so be seems to be fixated with no sign of budging. All the doors appear motionless too. Maybe I'll let Zack know. He's not gonna be happy. He'll get over it though. Zack, got some bad news and I got some good news. You find something? Uh, um, did you even look? Um, so no clue about a way out, huh? Yeah, about that. Damn. Oh, I need to move. I'm sorry. Hey, you sure there's nothing? Not sure, but what I do know is that I've yet to find any kind of clue. Quit messing with me. If there's nothing here, then how's about I start smashing everything? Wouldn't that be faster? There's no evidence suggesting so. Huh? No evidence? There's no evidence to say I can't smash it? Mind holding that thought for a bit? Oh man, I'm pissed. No way forward and no way back. Man, this shit is so fucking tiring. Hey, I wouldn't sit in that chair if I were you. Huh? Put a sock in it. I'm so out of it. Zack! Don't do that. 